Yo, what's up there guys? It's Immersive Gamer 83 and thank you very much for stopping by today. Just a short and sweet one about an upcoming Oculus SDK that's coming out on August the 20th. Um, it's been confirmed, we've got 0.7 coming out and it does introduce a lot of good changes and some uh, some little ne negative ones which are needed, you know, a lot for the greater good of gaming and VR gaming. So going forward let's have a quick look at this email and see what it says in full okay so the upcoming oculus pc sdk 0.7 compatibility changes uh it introduces architecture changes that bring increased stability performance and a new direct driver mode developed in collaboration with nvidia and amd so i'm really happy to you know to know that they have consulted uh all the Jeep, the main GPU manufacturers, and there's going to be performance increases. That's that's a really really big plus going forward. Very very happy about that. Um, does say, however, as a result of these updates, the 0.7 runtime won't support applications built with 0.5 or earlier, including all content built with the Unity 4 engine. Um, this means the majority of existing Rift games and applications will need to be updated to 0.7 or at least 0.6.01 to work with the new 0.7 runtime. So basically all the older stuff won't work anymore unless the devs of the actually update, update their work to work with a new architecture. Um, currently that means things like uh, Vorpex, Vorpex is using the old runtime and a lot of the Oculus shared demos, which which is fine. I mean, you can still play that stuff. You, it just means you need to ro to roll back your drivers, and it takes a couple of quick restarts on the PC. Um, I think this is also going to be coming out with the the new Windows 10 updates. I mean, surely it doesn't mention it anywhere in here about Windows 10. I've had a little scan through it earlier, but surely that's got to mean Windows 10 support. You know, uh, I'll be very disappointed if. <laughs> it was still wasn't fully supported on Windows 10 and I currently have held off updating my Windows 10 my updates sitting right here get Windows 10 and I've not do I'm not comfortable doing that in case some of the applications don't work yet so there we go uh, so it says as we prepare for the launch of the rift one of the key milestones is shipping 1.0 of the oculus pc sdk so that's cv1 stuff we're talking about here so they're making good progress and on august 20th we'll be releasing 0 0.7 publicly okay so let's have a look a more robust direct driver mode so Every, pretty much in the future there's not really going to be extended mode anymore which which for us that those of us which like to record and make make videos on on games and things uh, it's, it's going to be a bit more of a problem to be honest we really need developers to add the mirror functionality you know something that's not going to use any more gpu power but just something that puts the image and mounts the image to the monitor as well so we can actually capture quite easily still even though we're getting the image direct to rift and that is going to help us massively going forward uh, virio have actually implemented this already um, although i'm still struggling to capture with obs but it is very very good and they've done some really good work going forward very very good stuff um, okay so they've outlined these changes along with new information on how we'll be handling updates to the sdk in the run up to 1.0 so it talks a bit more about the one, uh, the direct driver mode there. So oh, hang on, it even confirms it here. So as part of 0 0.7, we've removed extended mode. So there we go, it's gone. So it's an easy way of capturing stuff, and uh, but it does have slight more latency. So they've replaced it with this direct driver mode, which which is good um, in the long run, I guess. Just hope we can still capture okay with it. So yeah, uh, it goes on to say that. Each new release of the runtime will only guarantee support for the previous version of the SDK. This allows us to move uh, more rapidly, evolve the software architecture and the API on the path to shipping 1.0, so CV1. Upgrading to 0.7, so there's going to be a significant number of games and applications based on the older versions of the SDK, and they're working hard to make the path to 0.7 as smooth as possible so hopefully going forward it's not going to be a massive amount of work for the devs to catch up and you know get their get their their uh, their games and applications and experiences running on the new the new runtime and at the end of the day those are those of us which which bought a dk2 it's on the basis that it is a development kit and really those that are developing with it are developing for the cv1 so it, it will be a shame if 
people don't pursue and 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 get get their experiences that they've created up and running because it won't be very long and the consumer unit will be here so yeah so we look forward to seeing you soon in the rift the oculus team so thank you very much guys for spending time to watch this video if you did find this informative i'd love it if you smash that like button if you were already aware so that means it's five to twelve okay so if you were already aware of the changes i'd love to hear your thoughts on it and if you didn't know about it then now you do that's immersive gamer 83 and i hope to catch you on the next one take care guys bye bye